Hey guys, it's FIFA Rally here and welcome to episode 4 of Let's FIFA 15 and we sold on a bunch of items on our transfer list so uh, yeah, we sold on some of the players we had in previous squads we sold on a bunch of attribute cards and uh, healing cards just consumable items overall and Oscar as well and that gave us a total of 39,000 coins after that stuff had sold on alongside with the coins we already had and apart from that, I decided to build a new team yet again because we we have a few five star skills we unlocked but not tried out yet. So that is Fiddle Martinez and Alan Sinio and uh, Sari Ukle, who we already had in our in our club. I decided to use in a squad uh, in the squad as well. So the remaining players would cost me seven thousand six hundred coins to pick up. So really not too expensive for what I would call probably the best silver squad we have uh, so far. There's some really quality players into this. The center back is really, really good. Chico and Dunk is a pretty strong partnership in my opinion and especially for the price. Of course, Sariuklo on the right back, pretty pacey. And then we have uh, Raus on the left back. And I'm just quickly going through the players I picked up as uh, so you sort of can see how... Uh, how many coins I spend on them. So yeah, Raus there in on the left back. I used him uh, before on FIFA 15 and he was a pretty, pretty solid player. Alan Sinu, who you unlocked in the last episode in the middle of the midfield. Christian on the right mid. His work rates are debatable, but hopefully instructions can kind of work around that. Grueso uh, on the left center mid. Got some decent stats and he links nicely up with a Fiddle Martinez on the left wing spot. Of course, Arisala on the top. Four star skills. He got strength and pace. Some really good stats for a striker and Renteria on the right wing four star skills and a weak foot and that is a pretty much our new little silver team around Alan Sinio and Fidel Martinez and I decided to use it for the first game of the episode jumping into the silver class tournament so we're into the round of 16th unfortunately we had to see ourselves defeated in the final in the last episode but I was hoping for another good cup run maybe reaching the final yet again so uh yeah, in the round of 16, we face a Brazilian side, also with Alan Sinio and a Christian uh, into the lineup. Quite interesting. And uh, yeah, we would actually get a very good start to the game right from the kickoff, actually. Uh, and it was Renteria on the ball here, going with a few skill moves, uh, going past quite a few players here. It's just like a bit of a zigzag run before he took the shot, but unfortunately it was saved by his keeper. And instead, his very first chance of the game would be a pass into the box and Marcelino was able to tuck it in behind my keeper to make it 1-0 uh, but uh, I would still create chances in this match and especially when Terry I felt was very good on the ball despite not being a 5 star skiller he actually created quite a few chances here from the get go of the game and then in the 40th minute it was a Fidel Martinez to get onto the ball try out a shot but he could not find the target unfortunately so at half time he had one shot he scored on it I had my few chances but I couldn't find the back of the net unfortunately so we continued into the second half Phil Martinez yet again on the ball here he's able to go past two players here out on the wing one more inside the box and we try out the shot but we tackle in the final moment unfortunately and instead it was a bit more of a, a simple goal in some way Alan Senior with just one skill move there to beat two defenders and uh, yeah that would give us a one decent skill goal and unlock one pack fours and uh, yeah in the 73rd minute we get yet another chance and uh, Martinez on the ball here he beats the defender once he beats him twice and another one but there's a player to block off my shot pretty much the picture of the game and instead into extra time his second shot of the game he made it to one I was just like come on I just couldn't score and I, I kept him away from a lot of chances but when he got them he just scored unfortunately and then 120th minute we actually get one final chance. We pan at the defender and we make it a 2-2. Two, a two. So we score yet another decent skill goal and we go into the penalty shootout. And I would miss my first shot and so would he. So it was all even as I stepped up for my second shot. And I would convert it down the middle in off the crossbar and I saved his shot. So I went into the lead off the penalty shootout and I scored yet another goal. And uh, yeah, he didn't... I don't know, he just kept on going down the middle so I could win the penalty shootout pretty quick to be fair. And uh, that would see me going on through into the next round of the tournament. And I think that was deserved enough. He had three shots in total in the game and he scored on two of them. He was pretty clinical on his chances and in the end I was able to win the match. And yeah, we could open up two packs after that game based on the two decent skill goals we scored. We got um, Comeback Narrow uh, to get another South American player there and we have a lot of European points by now. 
Um, and uh, in the next pack, we get two more Europeans and another African player, which is quite interesting uh, because we need quite a few African points uh, before we can unlock Masuku. And um, yeah, apart from that, I jumped into the quarterfinals of the Silver Class Tournament. We're going with our Ga Inform Gamakai, Steven, and Shikabala squad. And we come up against a championship side here, and uh, that was a pretty tough squad to play against, not gonna lie. I barely created anything in this first half. This was my best chances into the box with Elton, but I couldn't even shoot. I didn't get a shot off at all at halftime. As you can see at the halftime stats, he had the shots, I had the possession, but no goals. Uh, so into the second half, I was looking a little bit more to just get some shots in. So gold, he finds Elton, we take a shot. But it is saved by the keep, unfortunately. We get another chance. Elton here trying out a volley. But it is saved. And in the end, it was just some random stuff. It was a game where not much happened. So in the end, where I got a really lucky penalty here, I decided just to take it, get the goal, and basically win the game. Because it was a really boring game. Uh, I had a tough time breaking my opponent down. And yeah, as I said, not really much happened. We got into one nice little chance towards the end. But the chip was saved by the keeper. And thus... The game would end at 1-0 in the end on a bit of a weird penalty, not gonna lie, it was a pretty lucky penalty. But nonetheless, we move on through into the next round of the tournament, and as you can see there, um, my opponent had a few more shots, and I created quite a few chances into the second half, but really, a pretty boring game overall. So, after the match, I pretty much had injuries in all my squats, so I decided to, to pick up a healing card for Alan Senior because I wanted to play with that squad once again. It was pretty pretty fun to play with in the first game of the episode. So going into the semifinals, we used that team again, and we got matched up against uh, MLS slash Mexican League squad here with 90 chemistry. So not everyone playing on the ideal chemistry, but still a pretty strong squad. And I'll get my first chance with Alan Sinu here in the sixth minute, breaking into the box, but a terrible ship. That should have been sent to the far corner. And instead, a terrible pass. I just, uh, there's too much power on the pass for some reason. And he could just pick it up, through ball down the other end, Arizala 1-0. What a terrible start to the game in some way. But, uh, of course, I didn't give up and I was looking to, to get back into the game and maybe score a little bit of a skill goal. And here's the Martinez to break on into the box. And once again, we pick up a bit of a weird penalty. That would probably be something that will happen a lot in the series. So at halftime, he had a one shot and barely any possession. But it was even. And I was feeling pretty good going into the second half. Looking for yet another goal, but I could not find the back of the net. I was struggling a little bit with these silvers just to, to score my chances, but uh, we got a little bit lucky to hang on to the ball there. We go with another skill move, and this time around, we got a goal. We made it 2-1, went into the lead, scored a decent little skill goal, and we'll break on through here. Skill move it over the top ball, and we go past the keep on a cheeky back heel, past the defender to make it 3-1. And I would call that an awesome skill goal. Every skill move and everything happening in that build-up was perfect. There was no loss of possession or anything like that. It was just a nice little goal. So I decided to count that as an awesome skill goal, unlocking us two free packs after the game. And that was pretty much also how the game ended. 3-1 in the end. We got two quite nice goals there towards the end of the game. And uh, yeah, we could therefore go out and open up a three packs based on the skill goal we scored. So in the first pack, we do get two South American players. We now have four South American points, and uh, we need seven South American points before we can unlock Vitinho. So we're sort of getting there. This was a pretty good pack uh, to get at least. And um, in my second pack, I actually managed to, yeah, guess what? Keep on getting European players. There's a lot of those in packs, and we get uh, Marcus from Mexico, so that is yet another other continent point. So we're closing in on 10 points, which means we can get one free pack uh, from, uh, from the 10 other continent points. So, yeah, in my final pack, I do get yet again some European players, and we get Kayla Navas. Meaning we now have 10 other continent points, so we can go out and spend 10 of those points in order to unlock yet another pack. And that is exactly what I decided to do. And uh, that leads me to a thing I just want to discuss, because I got three European players, and I have a lot of European points. Now, in the last episode, we did adjust it such that it cost more to unlock European uh, players. But I was also thinking maybe we should make it such that we could just use 10 of any of the points. So, like, we could use 10 European points, 10 African points, or 10 South American points to unlock a new pack. So, like, if we have too many European points, we could, for example, use 10 now, so we have 24 left, and that would open up 
a free pack for us so we maybe can get some African and South American points. So let me know if you think that's a good idea to introduce to the series. And apart from that, this is going to be, be the end of the episode. I hope you guys did enjoy, did enjoy the video and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. That would be very much appreciated. Apart from that, thank you very much for watching and I'll talk to you guys later.